It reflects off my glasses so bad. I really should try to find something to do about that. Oh, hello, the internet. Saffron here. Going back into Detroit, become human. We're back with Connor's story. And we're here in this in-between area. Gotta find Amanda. And if you haven't noticed, it's snowing a little bit. I don't know if we've examined the, the rock, the magic rock. That is a uh, part of several flow charts. So we'll examine it now. I've already gotten it. I found the magic rock line time ago. And that comes into play later. We'll keep that in mind right now. All right, so where's Amanda? Oh, here she is. Out on the icy lake. That's frozen. Never trust frozen water. You don't know how thick the ice is or how stable. I always, that always, and I know After ice fishermen are probably the well aware the of, the of the you know, how thick ice can masters. be and whatever, but when I see trucks Humans in the winter no parked on lakes, I always just am like, I thought what is something. going on? Okay, anyway, so was going wrong. on back here. Maybe he did. But you chose not oh, to. Oh, Amanda doesn't like me now. I chose I'm not to go play off his twisted her. little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Yeah, see? And now and we get to ask several place? questions here. I created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You only have you only get so many questions you can ask. What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Yes, which they get either way. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Yeah. Not you obey and be a good little android. You're the only one who can. Yeah. So you can't get through all of the questions in one go. It doesn't matter. You only get like three or find four. Find the deviants. So you do have to go through again if you want to chaos. find different answers. But this is your last chance. It doesn't Connor. seem like it makes any difference. You kind of go to the same area, so. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. And Fuck now that. Hank is like, well, this sucks. Now, you so know, first close. he didn't want You're the assignment. Now he's like, no. Androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought right? you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, I don't can't know you they really are. Time. You know, they they really haven't There's done much. I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. No! I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. And I think I think there's one little section I'm missing in this flow chart. But you have to have, from what I can tell. You have to have a more neutral relationship with Hank. I don't know. I haven't I haven't gotten the one because I've gotten where you're friends with Hank and where you're not friends with Hank. And then um, and there's several that seem to just be like in between. So I know there's still more of this full chart that I need to do. Unfortunately, we're not going to do it here. So we're just going to push the story along. Here, it doesn't so matter really what you say. Life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find Disassembled. out what I Disassembled. Disassembled dead. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Yeah. They don't want to be free, Lieutenant. They're defective machines that have to be destroyed. Well, Hank didn't like that, but... You know, I don't Maybe think I've ever wrong. answered that way Maybe before. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe these deviants have actually developed a certain kind of consciousness. We'd be destroying a new life form. When you refuse to kill that android... Oh, and then it switches place. to that. I don't think I've ever had that conversation with Hank you put before. yourself in her shoes. Despite all the times going through this. You're this sure conversation that. apparently just happens. Empathy's it's a little a awkward emotion. that it got in there. But... 
Oh. I don't know why I did it. I always do that if I'm on this path. Um, I know let's go here. I know you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but... A plastic cop. I had to say it. Well, well okay, here yes, and here comes Perkins. Fucker, sure don't waste any time at the FBI. Now it's a minor race against time. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. You can pretty much get There's through no this choice. area without too much you trouble. Heard Fowler, we're off the case. If you do, I mean, you get you different flowchart progression if you do mess it up. So but find a lead in the otherwise, as I long as you have is in there. at least Listen, one Connor, of the many androids you can destroy. In this playthrough. Five minutes. That's all I ask. So yeah, you can either have, you know, the android from the ki kitchen interrogation, the basement or you can desk. have the android from the get a move on. The I can't pigeon house. Forever. I forget his name. Rupert. You know, you can use him. Whoop! Give me the key. Perkins, you yeah. Then. You can watch here. Hank beats the crap out of Perkins. Fuck off! Leave me alone! He's totally lost it. Another shot at that little hey, prick! That's gonna cost you your badge, you little dick. Okay. Well, I don't have time to worry about that. We gotta get down and find evidence. So while Hank's doing that, rust down to the uh, interior, the uh, Evidence room. Hey, Connor. And I'm Gavin. To you sure asshole. Yeah, he's Where'd still you got four minutes. Plenty of time. Wouldn't any plastic pricks around Let's here. just answer him so we don't me? have to deal with that. Let's just I've be calm. From the case. Yeah, because if you just leave, Gavin will come then down then there after then. you, and there's a big altercation. Good. So we'll just leave, and then we don't have to worry about Gavin. Your way back. Androids have a tendency of Although there are some better interactions with Gavin, we're just gonna keep it kind of flat. <laughs> All right. Down here, and this is another thing where you you need a handprint, but it doesn't seem to care. These are some crazy evidence lockers. I mean, it's huge. Hank's password. Oh yeah, I love this. I actually got this the first try, and it's pretty obvious. I mean, unless you're not paying attention, you shouldn't mess this up. Fucking password. <laughs> Obviously. Nowadays, you have so many things that need a password. I can understand his frustration. Where is Jericho? So they have the three androids here, and there's several ways you can go about this. And then there's Daniel over here, the first android. You can talk to him, but it really doesn't... He just actually is just mad at you because you betrayed him, and it's like, well, you were just doing your job. Okay, examine that. Um, I think actually we'll have to examine the androids first, so let's get out of there. Come over here, and yeah, we have the two androids, we have... Ortiz's android. And then we have the one from the Stratford Tower. Let's see what's working. Let's see what's not working. Oh, we can't oh we can't even activate him at all. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. Yep. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. We'll look here. And yeah, Daniel's pretty much down, down here so that if you need some part to reactivate one of these androids, you just take it from him. You know, and that's the thing. If you're reactivating these androids, are you essentially just bringing them back to life? I, you know, I don't know. All right, so let's look here. And play this. Because this is one, just one of the many paths you can do to try to get this. What was it trying to tell me? Do I have the corresponding... I don't know if I have the corresponding map information for this. Eh, six axis. 
be something in there. Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. Alright, so... I don't know that I have that corresponding information. Take. Oh, whoops, what am I taking? I don't know what I'm taking. No! I don't know what I'm taking! I didn't mean to do that. I don't need that. Let's put that back. I need a 3983 because I must have missed a piece of corresponding information in there. I think I had to traumatize Connor to get that. So, let's see. Yeah, I don't think. There's a diary and there's Rupert's jacket. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to activate the other Android. And I am running out of time here, so I better stop fucking around. Okay. Let's examine Daniel here. We'll scavenge whatever parts we need. What did it say? I need a 3938. Yeah, 4717. Yeah, so you can reactivate Daniel, but it really doesn't help anything. Unless you want to listen to him berate you for being a jerk. Which you weren't being a jerk. You were just doing your job. He would have been reasonable. Okay, so we'll come here. We'll have to work with this android. And this can either be the station android or Simon. Where? If he ends up getting killed at the Stratford Tower. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna trick it right away. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't I think don't he falls for it. Yeah. Voice. You're not one of us. See, but how does he know? If it's somebody Jericho like that, I want to go to Jericho. How does he? How does he not know? Because it would be a different android, so he wouldn't know who it is. We're just gonna scan his memory and get what information we need. Oh, buttons. Okay. Alright, so we got the Ferndale and we cross-referenced it, so now we know where we're going. Off to Jericho. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Get the alarm. And I don't know why Connor wouldn't have just, I, you know, closed it and been like, okay, nothing happened here. Nope, he just leaves it wide open for everybody else to find. Oh, yeah. I forgot. See, there's still a lot there that I have to do. And that's because I've never gotten to this chapter with the two girls from the Eden Club being killed. So that I've never done. Uh, and then there is here... Where you can have Connor be destroyed. He can be decommissioned at this point. And then there's here where Hank goes to his desk. Or I don't know what that other option is. I don't know that I've... I have no idea how to get that either. And then there's this. Which I have no idea how to get either. It's another one of those where you probably have to just piss around. But it's such... Like, there's nothing to look at when you're in that area with Amanda. So I have no idea what that is supposed to be. So there's another section that I just, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to continue on. I think the next chapter is pretty short also because we're just here with Kara. So we'll do this chapter also and get it cleaned up and out of the way. And then everybody will be at Jericho. Listen to the radio. Kind of plow through this a little bit. Over to the authorities, the country is grinding to yeah, a halt. so now it's Hospitals and schools are a matter of they don't want to risk deviance, so they're just destroying and any and all androids. Maybe most worrying and yeah, and they say like clinics and schools are closing down, so it's like how many androids do they have integrated in society? You know, they're doing everything, so what are half the people doing besides being unemployed? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. 
It's gonna be alright. We there. didn't start it. All we did was walk down the street. And then the police got all mead. Mead police. Alright. And yeah, then the car was driving itself the whole time. And I know that's already been kind of a thing. You know, uh... They've already been making cars that do that. They had a terrible accident a with the one already. The There's a large freighter called Jericho. But... When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Okay. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother then I have to decide too, because she says you have to be on the bus, and that is, until as far down. as I can tell, the good path for Kara. You're a very and I good haven't decided yet ass. how I want to do this. You deserve because there's be still happy. several things I haven't done on like the Thank you for everything one path that I really don't like, and I really haven't addressed it yet because I don't there. like what? it. And the boat path, like I said, it doesn't seem like there's any good way to get through that either. Take care of them. So we'll have to see what I want to do with Kara when Mom we girls. get to that point. In the yeah, meantime, we're going to go to Jericho here. We have a bus to catch. And this, like this scene is kind of unnecessary because it's just Kara walking to Jericho and then we switch back to Connor who is on his way to Jericho. On the plus side, you don't have to do all this again. They just kind of show that he's following the same path you did with Marcus. Yeah, and then we switch back here. It just, it's, it's, to me, it's just choppy story progression. Because, yeah, you were walking to Jericho, and then you switched to Connor, who's going to Jericho, and now you're back here to Kara, who is just walking to Jericho. And she did have to climb the big ladder thing. And, you know, if there's a better way for androids to get there, how come they give them that screwy back path? The authorities have ordered all androids I mean, not all the androids are going to be jumping into a pool at the bottom of the, the thing. And now it's like a big headquarters. We've got to okay. find a warm place for Alice. The there isn't much to do here, so we'll just find a warm place for Alice. Get out of my way. Yeah, in the background, the TVs are going on about some of the, you know, witnesses, what they saw and their perceptions of it. And most of them are supportive. They're just like, well, they just looked like people standing in the streets, and then the police started shooting How do you them. Feel? I'm hot and cold. And now, how are, here we're back at, and I the background. I don't. There's the RA9 again, which was there when Marcus first was in Jericho. So it's not anything new. It's just it's in Kara's chapter now. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. So once again, yeah, I just wonder if it hours. isn't in and the every on the other chapter. Side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. Oh, it's just just spit it out, Luther. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. See, because she just I'll be back. She blows it off every Same time. Things. Obvious problem is obvious. Okay, and now we're switch back to Connor. And Connor has a little more you can do, but not much. He can look around and if, like whatever deviants, he didn't either catch or destroy themselves or whatever, they are here in Jericho. So Kara is here <laughs> playing with the coin while he's waiting for me to finish talking. Yeah, so anyway, so yeah, so Kara is here, and if you didn't destroy Rupert, he is here, and the two girls from the Eden Club are here, and 
Ortiz's. I don't know if Ortiz's android ever gets here. I don't think that's the case. I think he gets. No, 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 no. Because you can leave him in the attic. As to whether he makes it here or not, I don't know. But you can leave him in the attic, and he's, you know, unfound. So yeah. So if you are trying to do the path where Connor doesn't find anybody. That's right, you can leave Ortiz's android in the attic. You just have to piss around until Hank's like, well, all right, we're leaving. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go right to... And here, here's another missed opportunity. I thought for the longest time that this particular section would go further, like he'd have some conversation with Lucy, but no. That's the end of it. She's just like, well, you're lost. And he's like, well, okay. It doesn't really seem to amount to much. It's an, it's nice that it's in there. It just, once again, it's just like a tape, like uh, there's no resolution to it. All right, we'll talk to Marcus, see if he can't get us passports so we can get to Canada. I'm with a little girl and another android. She just comes right up there. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Yeah, the camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of yeah. our people used to work in the school. Things are gonna get worse. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. That would be nice, yeah. You can get out of here. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? And it doesn't really matter what you say here. It's she pretty much the same answer. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. That's it. Yeah. All, all right, and then... Now we'll go back to Alice. <gasps> oh, wait! She's right here! <gasps> oh, no! She was an android the whole time! I'm sorry, it was just... <laughs> It was kind of obvious right from the get-go. You know, especially with Luther going on that, oh, there's something I need to tell you about Alice. Although I didn't notice this initially. Because they actually addressed the point that Alice is an android right from the get-go. You just don't make the connection until right... Well, I mean, I suppose maybe some people probably caught it. I didn't. You just didn't want to see it. But I mean, yeah, it was pretty much obvious though through the whole thing she that she was an android because she, she wouldn't eat and she wasn't for. sleeping. And you needed Although, you know, know, the whole hot and cold thing, I, I guess maybe it's a programming what difference issue, but yeah. And yeah, and then the fact too you that Kara would be con conflicted about was. this doesn't really make any sense. It just seems like forced plot. Alice loves you, Kara. You know, what's the difference she if she's an android or not an android? World. You know, Kara's been taking care of her this whole she time. The little girl you wanted, who cares? And you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are. Yeah, what's the difference if she's human or not? You to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Although, yeah, at this point you can continue to push Alice away. Which we're gonna do, because I'm a horrible android. And how come, you know, and the fact that Luther noticed and Kara didn't is another thing too. It's like, how did he know she was an android? What tipped him off? Was it, you know, when he was with Zlatko and Zlatko knew that she was an android? It, it just doesn't Cara, make sense. Is there something wrong? Yes, you're a creepy android now, and I don't like you. 
Which, like I said, again, doesn't make sense. Although it went right back down to distance. Maybe, maybe Alice will run away yet. I know that's not, it's not exactly the best way to play it, but I'm missing stuff on the flow chart. I need to get it. And Luther's not happy with her either. But yeah, it's just manufactured plot. Okay, now we get to the fun part. In council with Josh and North. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Well, yeah, we could have just stayed quiet and sat in our little Jericho dungeon. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. Yeah. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Well. Uh, no regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. Ta-da! getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Yeah, Marcus, what are we gonna do? Dialogue. Is yeah, we're gonna still talk. We don't want to have confrontation. If we just oh, stay quiet, um, it just pretty much goes the same path anyway. I talked to but... one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. And if they oh, do, yeah, then true. North takes over and it is a war. Lay low as long it's as a can. mess. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words and they'll listen. Yeah, like before. They listened real good. Is it smoochy times with North? They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. True. And violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Yeah. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He's got a bomb. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Although she did take the detonator and was just like, well, this might come in handy we later though. If humans I'm not going to have us, you do it, but forever. we might decide to do it. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. And we'll keep it. It does so make a difference in the flowchart later, later, but I don't know if I'm actually going to use it. We'll see what happens when we get there. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that. I'm glad I met you. Smoochy times with North. Which I don't know. Would Android do androids get anything out of smooching? Kiss. I mean, yeah, that's like a human thing, but humans do it for. Like, kind of a different reason. Can they, like, do they feel anything when they're smooching? Like, do they have touch receptors in their lips? And their tongues and stuff? Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. You know, I can understand the whole hand thing, because, yeah, then they share memories and emotions and whatever. But... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why androids would kiss except to emulate humans. All right. So North leaves and then we're going to switch back to Connor. Oh, I forgot how long this chapter is. This is going to be a bit. 
Because now we're back here with Amanda, who doesn't like us, we yet we're still talking to her. Finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Okay. Okay, and actually, I'm just going to end the episode right there. So I don't want this to get too long. So I'm just going to leave it and we'll pick it up on the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all later.